It's that time again, rebuilding a very old horizontal steam engine and finishing the painting at last. This engine seems to take me forever to paint. There's quite a lot of preparation work to do and I'm still doing the preparation work also. I thought before I painted it, I would just give it another quick run over with some cellulose thinners to get rid of any oil. I gave the whole bed plate a light sand to key for the paint and then I wiped it over once again with the thinners to remove all the grit. Talking about grit, always put your part that you're painting on a raised platform. Here I'm using two pieces of wood, because if you don't do that, you will find you pick up a lot of debris on the brush from the bench and the paint will look a mess. Once again, I'm using Precision Paints GNR Loco Green. That's Great Northern Railway Locomotive Green. A very good colour for a steam engine. Although it's well before my time, I've seen a lot of photographs of the GNR railway locomotives, which are very splendid looking things. So if this shade of green was good enough for the Great Northern Railway, it's more than good enough for the steam engines that I work on. This particular tin of Precision Paints GNR Loco Green is nearly empty, and the paint is getting a little bit on the lumpy side, so I've thinned it down a little bit. You can see that it's flowing somewhat better now. And I've thinned it down with cellulose thinners, or lacquer thinners. I got this tip many years ago, it's not an original one to myself. A friend of mine used to paint his locomotives and they always looked really well. He used to spray them and I was once with him when he was doing this and I watched him actually diluting some precision paints with cellulose thinners and I said to him, doesn't it make the paint go funny? Quite the reverse, he said it dries quicker so the paint finishes better. I don't know really whether this is a bit of a contradiction in terms. Generally speaking, with oil-based paints, which dry slower than cellulose, you get a good finish as the paint spreads out, but the paint will also pick up dust and particles, so the quicker the paint dries, the better it is. The best finish I've ever personally got with paint is when I use some two-pack. It's very nasty stuff and I sprayed it outside, and the engine that I painted with the two-pack paint is my little locomotive that I run round the garden, and I built that in 1996 and it still looks quite good. The paint is very hard wearing. I know it's hard to contain your excitement watching all this painting and you've been watching me painting the steam cylinder. It would appear to me that this steam cylinder was not lagged in the first place when the engine was first built because the cylinder itself was painted. There are some mahogany strips that came with the engine that are just a push fit onto the cylinder. I may refit those. The last thing to do is to paint the top caps for the main bearings. Again, I'm using a piece of wood that's clean, and as I said before, that's so I don't pick up any bits off the bench and make the paint finish a mess. That's it for the painting. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.